chicken stuffed cabbage sandwich sounds interesting right so guys welcome back to another episode of prithas cooking house and on my today's episode i am going to share with you one brand new recipe and i named it as chicken stuffed cabbage sandwich so let's get started and if you are new here in my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates regarding my recipes and if you like the recipe then please like the video share the video with your family and friends and put your valuable feedback on the below comment section and all the ingredients details are below they are in the description box please have a look so uh, for making chicken stuffed cabbage sandwich we need around a uh, 150 grams of minced chicken so now uh, we need to marinate this chicken so for marination i have taken here around 2 teaspoon black pepper powder salt as per taste and around 2 tablespoon curd or yogurt or dahi and after that we need to give it a quick mix and after mixing it well we just need to keep this aside for marination for around 30 minutes to 1 hour after 1 hour i am back and it looks like the marination has been done properly now i have taken one pan or kadhai and i have added around 1 tablespoon uh, refined oil into it you can uh, use any oil and when the oil is well heated we need to add a uh, one medium size onion paste and need to give it a good mix after 2 minutes of frying the onion paste now we need to add ginger paste and garlic paste i have added here around 1 and 1/2 tablespoon ginger garlic paste and again we need to give it a quick mix after another 2 minutes we can see that a uh, no raw smell is coming out any more so now at this point of time we need to add the marinated chicken into it and need to give it a quick mix uh after 2 to 3 minutes we can see the color of the chicken has been changed now at this point of time we need to add some red chili powder and a, a pinch of salt into it as we have already added salt at the time of marination so now at this point of time we need to add a pinch of salt uh and uh, some red chili powder as per taste i have added here around 1 teaspoon uh, red chili powder need to give it a quick mix after few minutes we can check that the uh, chicken become a bit watery so we have not added any extra water here the water uh, we got uh, from chicken itself only and now at this point of time uh, i have added here around 1 uh, tablespoon chopped coriander leaves and again i have given it a quick mix now we will be adding some chicken masala or meat masala so uh, you can get chicken masala or meat masala from any departmental store or any grocery stores and uh, it will increase the taste of the chicken a bit so i have added here around 1 tablespoon chicken masala or meat masala here and uh, given it a quick mix again and finally we can see that oil is coming out uh, from the chicken and no watery part is uh, there anymore so now uh, at this point of time our chicken is completely ready so our uh, chicken stuff is now ready so just uh, take it out from the pan and uh, let it be cool now in the meantime let's prepare the cabbage for that uh i have taken another one pan and added some water into it and then i have added around a uh, half teaspoon salt into it and now we need to put a uh, cabbage leaves into it so i have taken here two cabbage leaf uh if you want you can take more as per your requirement you can take a uh, three four cabbage leaves as well so uh, we need to blanch the cabbage leaf 
so for that uh, i have put the cabbage leaves into the water and need to blanch them for uh, four to five minutes after uh, five minutes we can see that the cabbage leaf has been uh, blanched properly the color has been changed and it looks perfect now so at this point of time just put off the gas and uh, keep this aside and let it be cool now let's assemble all the things so for that i have taken here the blanched uh, cabbage leaf and uh, the prepared uh, chicken now uh, just take one cabbage leaf and with the help of a spoon add some prepared chicken into it so the way i am doing this you need to follow the same procedure and need to add some prepared chicken into it basically need to stuff it and then just like this you need to seal the mouth of the cabbage so following the same procedure just i am doing the another one for your reference i am showing it to uh, you again so put some prepared chicken into it or stuff some chicken into the cabbage leaf like this and then you just need to seal the mouth of the cabbage leaf with the help of your hand like this now uh, we need to prepare one batter so for that in a mixing bowl i have added here around 4 tablespoon besan or gram flour and uh, then we need to add around 1 tablespoon rice flour into it so this uh, rice flour is basically for the crispness and then we need to add some uh, salt obviously as per taste and some uh, red chili powder into it so i have added here around uh, one teaspoon red chili powder and a uh, half teaspoon salt into it and after that we need to give it a quick mix after mixing all the dry ingredients let's add some uh, water into it and the water needs to be added gradually into it and uh, need to give it a quick mix and need to prepare one slurry the consistency of the slurry shouldn't be very thick or uh, very thin the consistency or the thickness uh, should be medium so it should be like this this is the proper uh, thickness or consistency of the slurry and now i have taken here one karhai or frying pan and added some uh, refined oil into it i have added here around three tablespoon oil into it now take the uh, chicken stuffed cabbage leaf and put it into the uh, basin slurry and coat it well into the slurry and once you feel uh, it's well coated into the slurry just uh, put it into the well heated oil and need to fry them well put some uh, more uh, besan slurry on the top if you want and similarly following the same procedure uh, put the another one uh, chicken stuffed cabbage into the besan slurry and coat it well into the uh, batter or slurry and then uh, put it into the well heated oil and as i told you if you want it should be well coated then you can uh, add some more batter on the top and just fry them well after a uh, four to five minutes of frying uh, one side i have just uh, turned it to the other side and now another side is uh, getting fried 
after another 5 minutes we can check that both the sides are now well fried so now at this point of time we can take it out from the oil and can serve them hot as these are now completely ready to be served so i hope uh, you liked my brand new recipe chicken stuffed cabbage sandwich if you liked it then please like the video share the video with your family and friends and comment on the below comment section and if you have not yet subscribed my channel then please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get regular updates regarding my recipes we'll be back very soon till then bye bye and